Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. The teams then, Southampton against West Bromwich. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks for the intro, Peter. I've been soaking up the atmosphere and I'm really looking forward to what lies in store. Now the lineups for the game. And we're on the way. Now it's Ings. He's had a look. There it is! Well, the whole idea is to start as you mean to go on, and that sets their tone beautifully. Uh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Southampton go ahead, one goal to the good. Livermore. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Ward Prowse. Redmond. Long. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. And that's been repelled. Redmond. Morrison tries to get it forward quickly. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Ward Prowse. Bertrand. Ward Prowse. Southampton making the ideal start, it is something to build on. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Chip through, and the defence can get it clear. Gets it back. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Away from immediate danger. Hoiberg. Southampton are very much in charge here. Dominating possession and a goal to the good. Redmond. Can he score? He's come loose. And a second time. And that really should have hit the net. Yeah, with him being under pressure from a couple of opponents, I thought he showed real determination to get some sort of attempted goal, and we have to give him credit at least for that. Yeah. 
Aimed long and direct. Southampton scoring in the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Redmond. Hoiberg pumps it upfield. Driving on now, what can they conjure from here? Livermore. Hoiberg. And it's Ings. Oh, he's come flying in. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Now the pass. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Oh, great ball! Hoiberg knocks it away. Bertrand. Who's going to make this theirs? Looks to slip it through. Ward Prowse. Spoon forward. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Jake Livermore pumps it upfield. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? Coaxed out to the wing. Tries a through ball. And we hit half time. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to go in with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Southampton go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead. Here we go again. Southampton carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Bertrand. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Redmond. Knocks it towards the front. Goalkeeper's ball. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Ward Prowse. Long plays a clever pass. Krasitsky. West Bromwich have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Is it in? And oh! He can get that clear. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Ings. 
Looks to dink one in. Clears it out of harm's way. Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper. And what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Who's going to make this theirs? Livermore. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. Talk about singling someone out. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Oh, good interception. Balls out on the left, now. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Ward Prowse. Southampton haven't made a substitution yet. He has it out wide now. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Now it's Krasitsky. Out of play for a throw. West Bromwich have decided now is the time to make their final change. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Tries to get it forward quickly. Redmond. Ward Prowse. And it's Austin. Bertrand. Ings. Still just that single goal, and we are nearly done. Krasitsky. Livermore. Lovely close control. Oh, good stop, it had to be. They've managed to get it away. Krasitsky. Southampton need to hold on for a few more moments. Bertrand. And it's Ings. Now it's long. Ings floats one over. Redmond. And the referee brings it to a close. Southampton win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Look, it's a very fine win, but for me, the defence has been terrific in holding on to that lead. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.